We're starting soon. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. We're back. Are we back? We might be back. We're contemplating it. We're con we're contemplating a lot of things. You... Mm. What? You've not watched John Wick, have you? No. Why? Because that whole just thing you just with the with Mac. Oh, you Mac. Think Mac is uh, basically a scene from the first one where one of his old companions is like, "Are you working again?" He's like, uh, "I'm starting to think I'm back." <laughs> See. Clearly, they stole from me. Hi. We're trying to contemplate if the camera's centered or not. Yes. Yes, yeah, centered. Well enough. Oh, crap. What? I feel like a dum dum. Why? Mm. What did you do? Oh, no, wait. Maybe I did save. Never mind. For those curious what I did or did not do, what I think I might have done wrong is I took some time to decorate our very pretty little map. Let me show you our beautiful map. Ta-da! <laughs> As he chuckles nervously because who knows what the heck I've done to this map. You've uh. potentially marked the stuff you're going to be hunting for. Yes, and we're actually going to head straight for one, which is going to be over here, because it's a shrine. Hooray! Shrine, shrine, shrine. Um, I went ahead and early pre-marked some very key items on the map, only because it felt like a good idea, but we're having you guys sit for hours as I contemplate which way of my life I'm going to take. I'm a very indecisive person. It felt like it would be a very boring event. Oh, you need to put the live message, dude. Oh, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. So, sort of distracted from everything else going on today. Oh, there's where I left my horse. My amazing horse. Named... We Actually, I forget which horse we brought with us. Did we bring Nugget? We might have brought Nugget. Oh good, I found a ledge. It's an imaginary ledge, but it's a ledge. <laughs> this is how this game works, by the way. Find imaginary ledges and climb over them. Then you live. Well, I suppose that's one way to work them. As mentioned before as mentioned by the title, we will be talking to Impa today. She Impa. may or may not be old. We will try not to insult her. There's no way she can be old. Ooh, iron shrooms. She's just been living for a hundred years. I found a rock. Mm, congratulations. It's missing a orb. Uh, yeah. Okay. We will figure this out. Silvis will figure this out more than likely. Wait, you, do, you don't know already? No. I don't even know what I'll be looking for. A little colorful ball. Probably black in color. And we're near Kakariko Village. Okay, I should probably not be using my sword to go farming. How do you spell the village's name? K A K A R I K O. Kakariko. Okay. Just to confirm, nothing in the water. My marker is pretty spot on, though. 
yeah. Oh, here's the old marker. Eh. Yeah. I'll go talk to Impa while we figure this out. Okay, you do that. After I pick some apples. I know what orb to use. Do you? No. But there is one right here that I do want to borrow. Uh. Ma'am, I need to borrow it. The words that Princess risked her life to impart to you, I cannot pass them on someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? I am. Not a memory to your name, yet you are intent as ever to charge forward only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Dun dun dun! Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. Dun dun dun! This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Dun dun dun! Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed okay, looks like... Spash the so stolen heirloom shrine quest. Their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land. Interesting. Needs to have a side quest in the village first. Yep, which is what we're going to do next. They constructed four mechanical wonders. I think they've just made the announcement. And what is it? It's a watch where you have a light and dark models of it. Okay, don't care. Sorry for those curious, we're talking about something else entirely for two seconds. Oh, Colonel, you've brought us a new bone! Everyone, this is Colonel's new bone. It's meaty, and it's his. <laughs> and he wants me to stop. Really excited. Yeah, he wants me to stop touching it, it's his. Camel! Well, interesting actually about the watches though, they use the symbols of the twelve gods as the hour markers. Okay. That's nifty. Against the ancient evil we shall face. Welcome, 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 all you awesome possums if you're joining us, by the way. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness welcome. delivered his final Enjoy. blow, the so back for next week. Run around the map trying to find things. To steal away mm -hmm. Calamity Ganon. <gasps> Calamity Ganon! Oh no! He will kill us all! Oh, Clink, thank you. Clink is concerned about my fear. Thank you. I feel much safer now. See, 
He's very concerned about my fear. Yeah. It's like, don't worry, I'm here to protect you. Yes, he's a good little weenie dog. A hundred years ago, in preparation for the Fertile Revival again, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of a thousand years, ten thousand years ago, not a thousand. But in the end, despite our efforts and careful plan, we're underestimate this power. And avoid ever making that great mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts. Wonderful words. That's more than four words, though. Understood. Did she say four words? I have no clue. It seems that to me that your Sheikah slate is not yet complete. The Vice Princess left you as your guide and also your memory. Now let's see. Please do not open my whole map. Yes. I want to go to the village. Ooh, it's the next zone. Thank you. That's where I can get my house. It's a small village, one of very few places that avoids suffering significant damage during great calamity. It's also where I think the changey, the stony is. You yeah. are Princess Zell's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Destiny. That's the heirloom. See, that's the heirloom they're talking about. Yeah. But as you said, it does look very much like it's what's going to fit, doesn't it? I'm just seeing if there's more to her diary. Nope, nothing more yet. She will update it, though. It gets yeah, I was going to say, I haven't read it seeing about the diary updates. Of Master Link, points. is anything matter? Anything at all? Can I help you? What's that ball? Uh. That's Priceless Artifact here. It's what you want to know about? That's the Sheikah heirloom that we have long protected. The hero as chosen by Sheikah Heirloom will be gifted the blessing of antiquity. With these words as our guide, we have watched over the sacred artifact since my grandmother's grandmother's time. Even in since her grandmother's grandmother's time before that. I cannot say what I entirely know the meaning of these words, but now that I think about it, the hero as chosen by the Sheikah Heirloom, could it be? Please don't hesitate to let me know if I can ever be of service. The village? What? We Sheikah have long served the royal family Hyrule secret. During the great calamity of a hundred years ago, the royal family was destroyed and the members of our tribe were scattered. <laughs> oh, no. Sadly, there were the, some who swore allegiance again and at that time. They joined together as the Yiga clan, seeking out all who opposed Ganon, cutting them down one after another. Banana people! Master Link. Now that you're awake, you're surely the most formidable opponent standing against them. No doubt they'll come for you, employing whatever underhanded methods they can devise. Oh, but of course, if you're anything I can do to help, all you have to do is ask. The Great Fairy Kotera. Only a few remain who knows this, but the village was built under her watchful eye. The mysterious power of Kotera is that sacred protection. I suggest you seek her out. The Great Fairy resides behind the shrine that overlooks the village. That is where you should seek her. You can put your trust in Great Fairy. I can think of a reason you wouldn't be happy to help you, Master Link. Please don't hesitate. Okay, so now we gotta find the shrine. You, I, me, you want to know my story? Well, my name is Paya. The reason I was named Paya is because I have birthmark shaped like a papaya seed. Where is it? Well, <laughs> it's kind of, um, Master Link. I advise you to change the subject. I'll answer you someday, just not today. Please don't hesitate to let me know. Good luck, Link. Now I wonder where it is. Alright, so it's behind the shrine. Do we think they're talking about the shrine that's up there that we've already been to? Mm, probably. Alright, so let's head up there and check the shrine. And then we'll come back for story stuff. Because technically she did say you should go visit the shrine. You know, I climbed a wall to get to that one temple. I could have just walked. But well, you could have also just climbed. Alright, so here's the shrine. I see no place for a fairy. No, never do I. Maybe it's not there. Well, it's gotta be somewhere. They said seek out the great fairy. Yeah. 
Ooh, is that it? <coughs> oh, yes, that would be it. Ha ha! I'll take it. Loon. Can I kidnap a fairy? Miss Fairy, I need to talk to you. They don't want to be kidnapped. Ooh, I found carrots. A lot of plants to pick up around here. So technically it is behind the shrine, but not behind the shrine. Yeah. I'm picking up these plants first. Lovely flower was said to have been a favor of the Princess of Hyrule. Once feared to have some gone extinct, it's recently been supplied growing in the wild. Let's cook it and eat it. It's extinct, so let's do it. It's extinct and you just got a whole bunch of them. Because that's how that works. Sweet boy, please listen to my story. I'm the great fairy Kotera. The place was once a beautiful spring, but as time has passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my powers abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg you, I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is a hundred rupees. Once the power has been restored, I can help you do great things. Now. I have rupees, hand them over. In order for me to regain my powers, all I need 100. I mean, there's a giant hand sticking out of a plant. Yep. Okay. Why not? Have rupees. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, uh, the power. It's overflowing. I forgot how creepy these fairies look. Yeah. But oh, oh. they've also got a far fancy guitar. Okay, are you looking at this fairy? Yep. <gasps> oh, what a feeling! The first breath of fresh air after an entirety of decay. Decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thank you. I've been returned to my former glory. As they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to hand your clothing. It's the least I can do, but you'll need the necessary materials. Huh? Hmm? What's this? You don't have any clothing that I can hand enhance? Really? Let's take a look to be sure. Take a look. Mm -hmm. Oh, she needs mats. So she needs three key swing, bubblekin horns. Okay, easy enough. Going already? How unfortunate for me. See you later. Don't worry, ma'am. I'll mark you on the map so we know where you are. Because I don't think they're going to mark her. Well, it is literally called the Great Fairy Fountain. <laughs> but we will put a star here to say come back. Okay. Now back to Kakriko and trying to figure out how to get back to Kakriko. Mr. Weenie, if you could stop taking away our chat, that'd be great. We are trying to have a civilized conversation with society. <laughs> Wee! Ooh, there's a tower in the distance. And Ganon! Ooh! And I see a shrine! Ooh, and another shrine! Stuff. And more shrines. Actually, I think that shrine's on my map. No, it's not. It'll eventually one day be on our map. Yeah. For now, we need to focus on the village. Alright, guys, we maybe will focus on who knows what. Maybe we'll focus on cookies. That sounds <laughs> nice. Cookies. Alright, there's a chicken on the roof. Jump! Wee! Are you? Sorry to bother you, but are you a fellow traveler? As for me, I just love art. In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes. Just between you and me, I hear the great fairy found somewhere near this village. I hear it's breathtakingly beautiful. As sex aside, they also say a place can bestow you some kind of mysterious power on people. However, since I'm an outsider, I can't get anyone to tell me any more details than that. 
These villagers never leave the safety of their village. These travelers like me are treated with suspicion. But I won't give it up. Oh, and if you manage to find out anything, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay, mm -hmm. so in. Where the innkeeper is doing what I should be doing. What do you mean? Sleeping. Ack! Are you? Guess I suppose so. You scared me half to death. Oh. Well, the regular bed is 20 rupees. And the soft bed is, I guess, 40 rupees, I guess. The difference? Uh. The soft bed stuff with premium cocoa feathers or something, I think. Sleep on that and, um, you know, you'll be energized than Ooh. usual. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I guess soft bed. So, um, where would you like to take to? Morning, please. I wonder if I'll be awake. He's a terrible innkeeper. <laughs> Good uh, morning. As the guy just said, like, if they don't really have uh, travelers or anything, then, um,. Uh, what am I, chopped liver? One person in how many years? Chopped liver, got it. My sword yeah. broke. What did you break it for? You broke it for an arrow. Uh huh, a single arrow. I feel accomplished. This place has carrots, so this must be a cookery. <gasps> Bird eggs. That that arm. <laughs> <laughs> it waves at you. In a world. Um, apparently we can cook these guts. Okay. We have two. Let's go try and cook it. Do you need something else? Recommendations. Recommendations? Let me think. Well, everything I saw really. But if you want specifics, there's always swift carrots. My my my, my what? They. Okay, I give up. Actually, to be honest, there's one other crop cracker he has none for. Fortified pokins. I'd sell them here, but you see, my mister and the pumpkin farmer, they don't exactly get along. Okay, I'll go straight to the patch. Do you need something else? I want to cook. Okay. Do you have a pot here? Bye. You have no pot here. Then why offer it? That's a fire fire. I need a pot. Yeah. Pot! With a lid! With a lid? That's uncalled for. Um, uh, we'll mix it with an apple. <laughs> this will turn out great. It turned into crap. Of course it does. Dubious food. Okay, hold on. So let's try just a gut. Nope, turn into crap again. Okay. I have no clue why she's selling guts then. Uh, let's have a look, shall I? Oh, here we go. Item shop. That I'm climbing the door instead of going in. Yeah, apparently that's not used for any recipe. Fire arrows. Regular arrows? Bob arrows? Arrow arrows. No, just fire. Uh, we can't blow ourselves up more then. Yeah. I can't remember the last time we had a customer here. Young folks in the village don't have much for a bow. use for a bow. It's a thrill to see a young lad like you. I want to sell. What are you going to sell me? Well, ma'am, I have no clue. I will sell you this. Never mind then. She had her eye on our food. Okay. Ma'am, I warn you that food is not healthy for anyone. <laughs> Ooh, 
He's carrots to sell. Yeah. But those are good for us. Mom? I will say sell the ancient parts though. Ancient parts. <laughs> oh. How many arrows do we have? We have twenty six. Oh. Need more. I am. I'm buying the bundles. Yeah. yeah, I'll just buy one bundle of fire arrows. Thank you. I wish you sold bomb arrows, but that's okay. We'll find some somewhere. Eventually. The explosions can, will not be denied. Mr. Chicken. Got mad at me for that. We do not support the actual hurting of animals. Please do not put chickens inside fires. I already knew it would not care. Beauty did that. Morning. Plums symbolize endurance and prosperity. That way, you preserve the harshness of winter and flowers of spring. We Shika strive to live in harmony with our environment and consider plum trees silent guardian of our village. These plums here are planted by Impa on the day I was born. They're special to me, so I keep a close watch of them. Ma'am. Hey, what are you doing? I I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've been raising my whole life. They've grown and they've grown part of me. When trees eventually rot and fall away, so will I. That's why I've painstakingly raise them all love I can muster so as long as I'm around there's no way I'll let you mess with the plum guard yes so I am. we need to kill him I don't think we can do that in this game then don't tell us we can technically he said kill the garden first and then we kill him no he said we'd, he'd not let us do that and then he said the garden would be there until he dies <laughs> <laughs> I just want the fucking apple, okay? Link, grab the apple. Thank you. Alright. Next house. It's empty. That sounds very unhelpful. Really, we're just looking for side quests. Hmm? Yeah. Do you need something? I haven't seen you around before, but there's something so familiar about that face of yours. Ah. Oh yes, I remember now. It was long ago when the calamity hit. But you look just like the swordsman who was trying to stop it. That was me. Say what now? You really the same swordsman from way back then? when? <laughs> Aha! Young people these days sure do like their jokes. If you're really the noble swordsman, you'd have the legendary blade, the sword that seals darkness. You see, the thing about that swordsman is, he trained the swift carrots instead of the blade. He strengthened his body with a diet made entirely of swift carrots, and tempered his soul's sweet aroma of swift carrots too. That's why my grandfather always used to say anyways, so I just should stop joking around the time and instead have a carrot, and try to be more like a swordsman. I mean, he gave me a carrot. Looking for carrots, you can buy some over the old lay shop. If you want to be strong like that legendary swordsman, come to my place when the day is done. Okay, mm. so find his place at night. There's something shiny right there. Shiny? It was an apple. Why there was an apple right there, I have no clue. Alright, we gotta figure out where his house is. Uh, that house. The other house. I don't know. This house is pretty empty, too. Yeah. Farming ho! That sounds like a wonderful weapon. <laughs> Nothing could go wrong with that. 
Let's see, got golden heart. Are you taking a break as well, Master Link? It allows me to introduce my precious stars, Coco and Kotla. The weather is rather unfortunate today, but it won't let it spring us down. Any moment I can spend with my girls is a gift. It's something I make for every day, no matter what. I always end boring, up uh, boring them with some stories, though. What stories? There's a shrine right above this hill, guarding the Sheikah tribe. Sometimes, from the forest behind it, you can hear a woman sobbing. The story I'm telling the children right now, anyway. Actually, the location they speak of is where the village guardian spirit resides. But lately, monsters have been lurking there, and it's become quite dangerous. I'm scaring my daughter so they won't go near the forest. <laughs> it works on Coco, but for some reason, those stories just excite Kotla. Are you taking breaks? Ah, oh, you're just gonna keep telling me about the. the blah. I don't care. I should have said have fun. Dang it! Stop! I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> uh, the pain. The pain. It's like the owl. All right. Did we check this house? I don't remember. We check it now. It's also empty. This village has so far been very boring. With Ouch. no side quests. But the one guy did say visit him at night. Yeah. So, so I may set a fire to make it night time. Okay. Somebody has a weird fascination with chickens. Mm. A chicken farmer, clearly. I can't get into their coop. <laughs> Maybe you're not meant to. <gasps> Recently, Yuga clan has been acting suspicious. It's our duty to protect Lady, Lady Impa. You okay in the rain? It's not a concern. These traditional clothes that have been used to Chica for generations. They're ideal for situations allow us to accomplish any kind of work at any time. Rain like this is no problem oh. at all. Recently, the Yuka clan has become active again. It's because of your awakening, I'm afraid. However, rest assured that we have strict orders from Lady Impa to protect our you with our lives. Yuka oh. clan! We of the Sheikah tribe have long been heralded as people of great wisdom. Our technology became key to sealing Ganon away during the Great Kalimi. Some 10,000 years ago, at one point, our technology was praised as the power of the gods. Yeah. But eventually, the people turned on it. Turned on us. Our recreations came to be viewed as threat to kingdom. The Sheikah became an outcast, forced into exile. Some, like us, chose to cast off our technology advances and strove to live normal lives. Others fostered a hatred towards the kingdom and shunned them. These souls swore allegiance to Ganon. They now call themselves the Yuga Clan. Their sole mission is to eliminate all who stand against Ganon. Please be oh. careful out there. And now he's just talking about the same thing he talked about before. A repeat conversation. Oh, I forgot that's a thing. What's that? The lightning is beautiful but dangerous. It draws metal. Mind what you have equipped during rainy days. Oh. You can actually get electrocuted in this game. Fun. Oh, it's hilarious. But just fun fact, you can get electrocuted during this game. I've done it. Congratulations. How does it make you feel? Happy. Yeah? Please wake me at night, sir. I have to go visit a man who said he'll train me to eat carrots. 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 This lump right here is a dachshund. What end of him is facing me, I don't know. His bed. Okay, let's go find the dude. Ooh, pay is out. Yeah? Oh, it's you, Messling. Please don't sneak up on me like that. Is something the matter? Do you need some from me? What you doing? I was just polishing the guardian deities. These deities are like signposts that guide through our lives. Master Link, I want you to know that path you're walking down is one we should all follow. I'm afraid doing stuff for this is the only thing I do to help you. Ma'am, can you tell me where the weird carrot man is? Carrot What in the heck is this guy doing? <gasps> there we go! A quest! Sir Link. My Cocos. 
My precious cocos! They haven't come home yet. Now my wife wants nothing to do with me. My cocos are all my only emotional support. What do I do? I guess you're gonna have to go find them and bring them all back. Really? Thank you. I have ten cocos tall. Hopefully you'll be able to find them all. Okay. But one of them was burnt in a fire. <laughs> technically alive, okay? I just don't know where it is anymore. Oh wait, there's somebody else too. Okay. Where's the Coco? Wait, it's over here watching this guy paint. Please return home, Mr. Coco. Do I get a marker that I found you one? No? Okay. You just have to count them yourself, yeah. One! Ooh, there's two! Over the thing, like, you can't jump over that fence. Okay. Two! We tell you, Link. And no more cooking the cocos. But, but, but. They taste Dude. so good. Okay, wait. I don't think I have to find ten. No, because he started with two. He has ten cocos total, right? Yep. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. He's got five. In there. He started with three. Okay. So we gotta okay, find five, we gotta find five more. That I've hopefully not managed to cook. Well, we know one's on a roof somewhere. Yeah. Mr. Coco, you gotta return home. Oh. They're now also talking about silver pendants you can buy. Based on the XR star. Oh, those were the silver pen. Those silver pens have been up. They're talking about the water thing then. Water thing? If you spend $120 in the store right now, or $140, you get water. A water bottle. Oh. That has a uh, walker on it. They go through everything. There's a storage box with the map printed on it. Yes, these are all the items you, that get counted towards it. Yeah. You could have found this information earlier today. I was already looking at it. Stuff's pretty. They're showing off the job stones. Right. That are magnets. Yes. Alright, do you see any more chickens? Keep your eyes out, we gotta find these chickens. Well, there's one. We gotta find them all. <gasps> oh, look! One's in the place I'm not supposed to go! <laughs> Guess we're going in the place I'm not supposed to go. How are you getting? Well, he's not guarding it. She'll never know. Actually, the dude who's concerned about his chickens is missing, too. Oh no. They're being kidnapped. Hey, at least we found the side quest stuff. Yeah. Or at least one of them. I still think there's another one on a roof somewhere. I would not be surprised. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight. We got two more. Oh, there's one on a roof. All the way up there. Ooh. 
This is a Zelda game. We can climb. Sort of. There we go. Very awkwardly. But we can do it. Alright. Let's see. Apparently there is one... Zoop nice. on the cliffs to the north of the village. Where on the cliffs? There's a lot of cliffs to traverse. Right. Just north. Oh, there it is. Oh. I found it. And that makes ten. Fly my coco! Hopefully. It's ten. Sort of. I lost the chicken. I think <laughs> it killed the chicken. Sir, back into your home. Your poor master was worried about you. Where'd the freaking guy go? I don't know. Okay, I will let him know, but where- oh, he's over here. I could mark it and it would tell me where he is. Oh, you can. Recent- oh, wait. But, more important, Link, I hear the sound of Coco flapping in the lily wings. Could it be? I found them! I- I knew it! The faint yet lovely flapping of wings, that musical clucking, ah, oh, truly the epitome of joy. I'm so eager to get back home. Oh, Link, I'm happy everyone is safe. Thank you so much. I'm afraid that isn't much, but please take it with my thanks. Yay, I'm ready to get out of here again. Though I do wish my wife would come back to me, just like the Cocos did. Yeah, 50 rupees. I wonder if because he loses his post to go do the thing is why we get robbed. Possibly. Now to go find the carrot farmer. You're a woman, ma'am. Hmm? Is everyone wrong with that? Hey, how could you be so rude bothering a lady in her room at night of all times, huh? Isn't that a Sheikah Slate? Are you the hero grandmother told me about? The legendary swordsman of great calamity? Wow! I figured you'd be all old and wrinkly by now. But you so are not. Young people like me have a hard time wrapping our heads around something like the great calamity. Mm -hmm. Huh? Judging by the look on your face, I dare say you're having a hard time with it, too. You must be kidding me. I don't know about what kind of stuff, but I'm pretty sure the Hero of Legend is on, like, a quest or something. I'm, uh, running a clothing shop here, so stop by if you're looking for something cute to wear. Thank you. Yay. <gasps> they grow green! Still gotta find the dude's house though. Yeah. Are you, sir? Oh, here he is! The best defense is a good offense. With four or five pumpkins, think they're kidding. I'll smash those nasty things up good. Show him who's boss around here. He told me to visit him at night, and he's busy sleeping. Okay. <laughs> Oh, maybe because it's too. We spent all night talk looking for chickens. I didn't realize we were on a time limit. Man. You're still here. Princess Zelda's gift is chic is late to you. It's the only guide that can leave Kimmy, but you can only use it to its full present state. Hurry to Hayton Village. Understood. You're asleep, Lee. Can I take this now? 
Nope. Let's try to take everything. Alright, what other side quests do we have then? Pia! Please don't fry me like that. Do you need some? What you doing? <gasps> I'm just jotting down the thoughts. Just boring daily aff affairs and such. Really, that's all that it is. Can I read it? Is it okay with you? Are you tired? I'm seeing the upkeep of the heirloom and grandma's seed, paying tribute to our garden deities. I spend my days preparing that so no village disaster befalls the people of our village. When I finish and take a look around, I'm already almost sunrise again. But that's okay. I always remind myself that I'm doing this for the sake of the people. Come prepare that sleep sleep something. Huh. It's that okay with you? What's on your face? What? There's something on my face? What are you speaking of? Oh, are you referring <laughs> to this crest? Symbol is our talisman, the Sheikah. It's a word of evil. It's customary for those of long Sheikah lineage to have this crest linked into their skin on their past. Is that okay with you? Goodbye. Ma'am, can I read your diary? No. I'll go read it later. Oh. No. The chickens got out again. Oh. If you need anything, please find it here in our village. The clothing shop, material shop, general shop, and it should be able to provide you what you need. Oh, and between you and me, there's also a shrine in the hills of the village. They say up behind the hills, Guardian Spirit. Oh, I think it's that person needs to upgrade their coop. Yeah. Shall we go see the diary? Diary? Nope, nothing new in it. Dang it! She had just been wasted in it. Clearly, Link is more honorable than the rest of us. <laughs> Alright, so we know during the day there's not really side quests, right? Um. Or at least not yet. So, the question is what are we supposed to be doing? So, I don't know if they're all available, but there's the Arrow of Burning Heat side quest. And where is that? It says, speak to Rhoda in the cu Curious Quiver Shop. Is there a specific time? Uh, wait until it's not raining. Okay, so it has to be day and not raining. Got it. See, that's why I asked, because there are specific times. Uh, by Firefly's Light. That's the training one, probably. Uh, visit Lasu's house at night. Yep, here he is. Oh, wait, you're not Lasu. Where's Lasu's house? I don't know, but you're... Is visit their house at night. Um, I think you have to catch fireflies. Cooking with cocoa. Alright, well, let's do one at a time. So let's focus. We're at night, so where's Lasso? Um. Let's see if this video will show where the house is. Come on, play. Oh, well, there's a woman. Hello? Oh, you're another woman. Sorry, ma'am. Didn't mean to wake you. 
This video is a lie. Why? So it's meant to be for this spy quest. What are we showing? Showing where all the great fairies are. Okay. It's not even connected. Alright, you're two children. We just invaded two children's house. Okay. I need Lasso's house. Yeah. Where's it even on this video to show? Uh, looks like it's near the east entrance of the village. Okay, for directionally challenged people. Here's uh, north, here's east. <laughs> Alright, these are all item shops. You went west. For those directionally challenged. <laughs> <laughs> it's an item shop still. And Follow the road to the other side of the village. Well, you're Stein. Best defense, a good offense. Sure. Just what I expect from a big fan of legendary swordsman. The Sheikah tribe has long excelled knowledge of combat. We have quite a few techniques. I can teach you all of them. Okay. So he's just going to train me what I already know. Okay. Yeah. So follow the road. Yep. I follows the road. Okay. And should be in the area somewhere once she gets the entrance. Unfortunately, they don't actually pinpoint her exact house, but they just pinpoint. Or maybe they do? I don't know, it's hard to tell under the giant big red exclamation mark. You'd have to bring up your map so I can compare them. Looks like it's a bit south, so a bit further along the road. South along the road? So their exclamation mark is in that little clearing just left of the horse. My horse? On, on the map, you got that little horse head. head. That's my horse! Yep. There, they have the exclamation mark John the clearing just left of that. So, which house exactly? I have no idea. This was a woman's house. Oh, you're paying a visit, sweet you? Yeah, I knew you really love the night at night. The world sparkles and shines. It's beautiful. Oh, and fireflies are everywhere. Oh, wait. That's her. Okay. Though trying to sneak up and catch them is quite a challenge. There were times when I'd stay out so late, I'd realize the morning come to grandmother always called me for that. But that's all in the past. Now there are monsters around the village and rumors that you could clean nearby active. That's why I'm forced to lounge around at home instead of chasing the night I Wish I could do something. So am I supposed to just go sneak up on fireflies? Yeah, catch five of them, bring them back and release them in the house. Alright, where are the fireflies? Good question. Out in the world. Seriously? Or are you just being facetious here? Uh, I'll see if the actual page one says. So, you can purchase them at stables. They can be found in West Nekuluda and Great High now. Forest. That mm. is as particular as this guide will get. Okay, so it is wild. I don't think that will have anything to do with the thing. So the next one is Daytime Not Raining Fire Arrows. 
up. Sit till noon-ish so we can know if it's raining or not.